What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today I'm going to be talking about how to get slash farm Primo Gems. Now, I do want to preface, a lot of people thought that my other video on Primo Gems was like my Primo Gem guide. That was my guide just telling people how to get a lot, of, like a thousands of Primo Gems really quickly. Because I know a lot of you guys wanted to summon on banners, or summon on the Venti banner, d Luke banner, whatever banner. That was what that was. That wasn't my official like Primo Gem guide. So anyways, that's what this is. So anyways, um, you know, let's go ahead and get into it. So starting out, uh, Primo Gems are used for a lot of different things. Number one, summoning, which is the main thing people care about. But you can also use it to refresh your resin, which is going to be your stamina, so to speak. So um, number one, the biggest way or one of the biggest ways to get this, which a lot of people don't do, I haven't even really done, is if you go to your achievements... All of these have hundreds of completion like missions that you can do to get gems. Play a game of pirates with Lil Lulu, Lil Fei, Lil Ming. That's already five. Complete fishing, um, whatever this is. That's five. And good. And these are just little petty missions, you know, that you got to do. Find whispers in the wind five times. Help Huayang, I don't know how to say it. Repair Wang Shu In's broken bridge. There's just a whole bunch. Of you know different things right here if you scroll down it just keeps going on and on and on um, yeah learn 40 recipes master 10 recipes you can get this easily just cooking and literally there are thousands upon thousands of, of you know things that you can do all inside here right and it's free gems literally just free gems I haven't gone through any of the I haven't gone through these and tried to actually do any of them yet like intentionally like if i get something done i get it done but i haven't tried to go through these and get them done like intentionally so um but yeah all of these are a very very good way of getting a lot of primo gems because they tell you exactly what you need to do all you got to do is go do it and then you're good um uh, now another big way this this is like the one of the biggest ways to get it in the game which i know a lot of you guys are going to be like well you know, how am I supposed to do that? Blah, 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 blah. But chests. Chests give you a lot. When I say a lot, chests give you like an insane amount of primo gems. Comparative to, um, you know, most other things. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, well, how am I supposed to find all the all these chests? Um, I talk about it all the time, but the interactive map. The interactive map shows you where chests are all you got to do is click these right here and it will literally show you all over the world where chests are now i know you've probably done a lot of these chests so i mean unless you want to like go through the chest yourself like one by one um you just have to run around the map and just find them now that's that's what i've been doing too now running around ch and finding chests also gives you xp ar xp so that's really good but i've literally just started running around the world Finding chests wherever, right? That's that's what I've done. Um, like I said, you can go, you can look at this map and do it that way. Or if you want to go around the world and just you know adventure and stuff, you can do it that way. But chests are going to give you what between from two to five primo gems a chest, and it's like they are very, very, very good as far as XP, especially in the later stages, right? After you've done all your animoculus, after you've done all your geoculus, you're not going to have any ways of getting primo gems like that. So chests are going to be a really good way to do that. And a lot of people ask, hey, do chests reset? Yes. Um, there's been multiple people, me included, that have like opened a chest and then, you know, like a day or two later, a couple days later, gone back to that area and maybe, maybe just a day later, gone back to that area and there's another chest that we know for a fact we did, you know, we opened in that area already. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're obviously, you know, clearly chests respawn. So, uh, keep that in mind as well. But, so yeah, so number one, you need to make sure you're doing achievements. Number two, primo gems. Number three, um, and I mean, this is kind of like whatever. I wouldn't say this is necessarily like a, a way to farm it because you can't really farm it, but this is a way to get them. Um, if you level up, well, when you level up, they give you primo gems as well. So you guys want to make sure that you're leveling and stuff like that, um, because that, I mean they're gonna be giving you some eventually, you know, throughout this. Uh, it starts off at what? Uh, I want to say 50. 
earlier on like if we look at like rank four right i think it's rank four rank four yeah they give you 50 you move up to where is it rank 12 they give you 50 once you start getting to the higher ranks they start giving you more though right so as we get look 75 as you and then like the 25 the mission to to go to the next uh world rank gives you a hundred so i mean as you're leveling up you're going to get a lot more 75 they're going to give you some though there as well uh daily missions daily missions every single day i mean there's no reason to not do this but daily missions are going to not only give you x uh, xp they're also going to give you primo gems as well you guys want to make sure that you guys are doing that um one of the biggest things one of the biggest things that people may not may or may not know which i haven't even got to that point yet but trust me when i tell you it's really good and you make sure you you, you want to make sure that you're working towards this if you're not already at this level um if you look right here you get a hundred primo gems per three stars so when you go into the floor there's three different chambers so if you get say you get two here and one here that's three stars you get 100 primo gems same thing goes if you get all nine you get 300 primo gems that's going to be for each stage so that's 300 600 900 i haven't did this one yet well i've done these two but i haven't got this one yet that's another 300 another 300 another 300 not yet not yet but same thing now you cannot farm these but you can get these now uh floors 9 through 12 reset twice a month so so basically every two weeks they reset so as far as 9 through 12 you can farm those right these do not reset but 9 through 12 they will so 9 through 12 um you can get those every two weeks you're gonna you want to make sure that you are getting all of those primo gems before it resets those are going to net you a lot of um primo gems as well now outside of that that's pretty much everything as far as getting primo gems now there are a couple of other ways to get you know a, a small small amounts and stuff like that like if you're not if you're um what is it called statues of the seven are not max level whenever you level up your statues of seven or feed the animoculus or geoculus you'll get primo gems for that but that's not something that you can do all the time that's not it's not something you can do constantly now when we get a new uh, region you know, a lot of people are hinting at Inazuma. When we get a new region, if that new region gets a new Oculus, you'll be able to do it then as well. But as far as things that you can get and grind uh, pretty easily and pretty often, achievements are amazing. Um, you want to make sure that you're doing the Abyss. The Abyss are amazing. Once you get to the later stages, you can farm it. You want to make sure that you um, are doing all of your quests and stuff. Quests always net you Primo Gems. So even if it's side quests world quest you know story quest whatever quest makes you want to get all of those done as well uh that's pretty much it as far as primo gems uh there might be one or two ways that i may have forgot i don't think i think i got everything i'm pretty sure but yeah so achievements abyss obviously daily missions doing your missions in general uh and yeah that's pretty much it uh, i know i know a lot of you guys are going to be like well i need more because i want to summon on everything this is the banners are out for three weeks right so if you look at banners the banners are out for like three weeks so if, so if, say you don't want venti right say you don't care for venti you don't care for these characters for three weeks you can save primo gems yes i bought primo gems it'd be like that uh because i know someone's gonna say something in the comment section but say say venti's banner is here and you don't care for venti just save for those three weeks and then the next three weeks when when the new banner comes out if you care for that unit you can summon if you don't care that's another three weeks for you to save so they give you a lot of time for you to be able to farm up primo gems over the course of however long so it's it's really really nice that the banners are rotating after three weeks and not like one week or something like grand cross so it's like that's really really good but these are the ways that you uh get primo gems as far as everything um yeah so anyways that's gonna be it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys did in the comment section below with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace